God for Dr. Steve and uh, Pastor Rita. Glad to remain here today. Yes. She's still not totally, completely out of the woods, but she's getting out of the woods. Amen. Amen. And uh, I can't wait because I know God's been giving Dr. Steve a lot of uh, great work. And I can't wait for him to get back and, and bring, bring it forth. Our Amen. church needs the prophets of God today in the churches. Amen. Amen. Because God always worked through the prophets. And he still does yet today. Some folks don't think he does, but he still does. Amen. Hallelujah. And uh, I am so glad my wife, the uh, first time being back since uh, she's had her about her immune system is also down. And so but we're just praying that they get healthy, wealthy, and wise. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. I, I, I told uh, one pastor that. He said, well, I think we've got to train two of them. <laughs> you know who that was? <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. I'm so glad to have my granddaughter here today, uh, Sarah Hope Carter, and she's got my little great-granddaughter, a man back there, and uh, I'd like for her to come up and bring a little Kaiser, my great-grandson, just for a moment, a man. Yes. Uh, I know you're sure to be pictures and how great your grandchildren is, but hey, now it's my opportunity. Amen. Praise God. This is Kaiser, amen. He's uh, Kaiser Carter, and uh, he is uh, uh, Cody Carter, my grandson's little boy, and he couldn't deny him if he wanted to, because we just spent time with each other, Cody uh, here, and uh, when he was uh, uh, Cody's age, amen, he just spent time with each other. And uh, you want to say hi to the folks? Hi. <laughs> Can you say praise Jesus? This is my pride and joy right here. Mine and her uh, uh, grandma, ain't she? You love your grandpa? <laughs> <laughs> She's opening her mouth up as a bottle. <laughs> but yes, I, I love her so much. And she is my pride and joy. And You know, I, I just don't understand how they can abort babies. 60, over 60 million babies been aborted. I don't know what... I don't understand it all, do you? But I tell you, I know their blood is crying out from the ground. Amen. Their blood is crying out from the ground. Yes, Lord and I tell you, I know they're in heaven, all each and every one of them. Amen. But I tell you, this I, I, I couldn't, I can't forsake this one, can I? You love Gad Paul? Huh? Say, praise Jesus. Can you praise Jesus? Amen. Praise God. And Paul loves these little babies. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Yeah. Hallelujah. You give him a hand, would you? Oh. Hey, you got grandchildren. You got grandma. Oh, Amen. Just a dog, baby. Usually at home, there if she's playing in things. She's got her hands up worshiping God. Her name is Praisley Devon Stansbury. And uh, I thank God for that name. You know, I'm so glad for that name. Praisley Devon. Hallelujah. She said, God, God's grandpa. I, I, just, I just love her today. Amen. Amen. And I appreciate her so much. I don't understand the world today, but hey, look, I'm holding on to it. The unchangeable hand of God. Amen. I'm holding on to what I have learned from God and His precious Word. Amen. All night long, I tossed and turned. And God, I was talking to God, and praying to God, tears rolling down my face. It didn't want to to get along with God. I'm never alone. Amen. You're never alone. Amen. Amen. God, if you're a child of the living God, your name's written down the lens of the blind. I want you to know something. You're never alone. Amen. Amen. You're not going to be alone. Praise God. I'll tell you, the, the joy, just to get a little joy and peace and happiness talking to God, what's going to be when we step over there on the other side? Amen. What's it going to be when we lay down our sword, sword and shield, amen, to learn more and more that we've made it in? But are we sure today that we're ready to go? 
are we sure today that everything is well between you and God? Amen. Know for a fact that you're ready to go. We know not the day or the hour that He's coming. We don't know. I wouldn't put a time on it. I don't know. But I know that He's coming and I really believe that we're right at the premises of the great dispensation of God and the beginning of the seven year tribulation period. Amen. People said, well, if I got more time, I said, hey, if you can't make it through God and get saved here, oh, I don't know what you're going to do if you have to stay behind and, and go through the tribulation period. Amen. I don't know what you're going to do. I know our streets and cities are nothing but war zones. But listen, God is had to cover off guard. Right. You know, for anything, I, I, I believe that the churches are hopefully filling up those that are open. Amen. It's sad that 20% or even more now, they're asking the churches to close again. But look, folks, we need to stay open. Amen. The schools need to open. Our churches need to stay open. Men of God need to get back in the pulpit with the anointing of God and the power of God when they begin to preach it. the infallible men of the word of all God. Amen. We need you, God, today. I need you at home. I need you when I go to the store. I need you church. I need you everywhere. I don't just praise you when I come to the house of God. But I give you praise every day of my life. I open up the word of God every day of my life. Begin to pour over the pages of God's written word. Amen. Amen. You can't go without. You can't this body, this physical body can't go without water. This physical body can't go without food. We have to have it because if we don't, we'll die. Amen. Just as well as the soul if it doesn't get the word of God and the nutrition that it needs to stand with God and be strong. Amen. It will also die. Amen. We have so much here today. We have so much of God, so much of His Word. And I tell you, folks, I don't want to be lost. I said, God, if there's one thing that I can accomplish in my life, is I want to make it to heaven. Amen. I want to make it to heaven, and I want all my church to make it, and I want everybody around me to make it. Even all those Antifa people and all these thugs, oh, they're only moved and action only by the devil yes. that's in them, the demons that are in them, that's turned loose in them. I even pray to them, God, if they only knew you, Amen. their life would change. Amen. That's the kind of power God's got. That's the kind of power I want in the church. Amen. The convicting power of God. That men and women will come out of the sea and kneel down in an old passion over a prayer. That we get back to the basics. Thank God for the fundamentals of the Word of God. If you have your Bible, turn with me to 1 Peter chapter 4. 1 Peter chapter 4, starting with verse 7. Said the end of all things is at hand. Let me believe that today. Yes, amen. There's nothing that touches our lives 24 7 that's not already amen. in the Word of God. How oh, I tell you, what a book to cherish. What a book to cherish, and yet it's the most popular Bible. It is the most popular book ever sold in America and around the world and still number one. Still holds number one. Amen. Yes, amen. But it's very less read. Right. It's about the less one read. I don't have fear today. I don't have fear. All the devil has came and tried to put fear upon me. But I took authority over it in the name of Jesus. Amen. God said, don't fear these things that are coming up on the earth. Amen. Just trust in me. Just, I have made a way of escape. He said, through every temptation, I'll make a way of escape. Amen. 
And I know God's in control still yet today. I don't care what the devil says. I don't care what some backslidden preacher says. I don't care what the government says. I know God's in charge and God's going to save his people. And God's made a way. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober. He's talking sober, a clear mind. He wants us to have a clear mind. In other words, we've got to get the mind in Christ. And not be a drunk. And not be a high on drugs. Because it, it messes your thinking up. It messes your everything up about you. It takes away your appearance. It takes away everything. But when we get to God, God, and he takes that old stony heart out and he puts a heart of flesh in a heart of love that we have compassion for people no matter what they've done or said we have compassion we reach out to them amen and say Jesus loves you yes. Jesus loves you amen we need men of God to stand in the pulpits today and preach the truth the, the truth is not what I say it is or you think it is but truth is what we say the Lord yes. God today amen. and if we all know the truth and walk in the truth of God We'll be much farther up the road. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. It's high time that we shake off the heavy bands. Shake off the heavy bands. Amen. And get free in God. And stay free in God. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. And watch in the prayer. Give much prayer. We need to pray without ceasing, the Bible says. In other words, have a prayer on our hearts at, at all times. Prayer can change things. It can do it, folks. Trust God. And above, and, I, and above all things, have fervent charity. In other words, love. Don't be hateful. It's easy to be hateful and your face all corded and twisted. Hey, it's more easier to have love and reach out and touch somebody with love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Among yourselves, too, for charity. Shall there's love in charity shall cover the multitude of sins. Oh, use hospitality one to another without grumbling. Without grumbling. We're always grumbling. Never satisfied. Never satisfied. Always grumbling. This is not right. That's not right. Listen, only thing you get right and everything else will get right. Amen. Get right or get left, right? Hallelujah to God today. As every man hath received the gift, even so minister the same one to another as good stewards. Come on, preachers. Hallelujah of the manifold grace of God. We need to preach. Hey, we need to preach the gospel. We need to preach what thus saith the Lord God. Not our thoughts, not our ideas, not our ways, but the ways of God. I tell you, I want to be sold out totally, completely to God and say yes, Lord. Yes. yes to God and no to the devil. Amen. Yes to life and no to death. Amen. Yes to health and, and no to sickness. Amen. I believe we're children of God. Amen. Hallelujah. And working for God, doing His will. He said, these things shall not come nigh thy dwelling. I don't believe we'll come nigh our dwelling. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Why? Because, uh, amen, we're standing in the gap and making up the hedge. Amen. We need to declare uh, this uh, 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 power of God. We need to declare the righteousness of God and begin to speak it out. I don't care if we have to wear a mask. Uh, uh, talk right through that mask uh, and be a witness for Christ. Amen. For Christ's sake. Uh, do it His way and not our way. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And if it, any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. In other words, the Word of God. The oracles of God. It's all laid out for us. It's all been laid out for us. It's all been pinned down by men that was moved up on by the Holy Ghost and they inspired them to write the Word of God. Amen. Oh, I tell you, folks. Hallelujah. And if any, if any man minister, let him do it as to uh, as of the ability which good God gave us. 
God will give you that ability to just open your mouth and he'll tell it. Amen. Hallelujah. Be called to God. Be ordained, study to show thyself a true right and divide the word of truth. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If any man minister, let him do it as the ability which God gives. Thank God I depend totally upon God here this morning. Yes. That God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ. Amen. To whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Somebody said amen. amen. Somebody said amen. Glory. Beloved, make it not strange concerning the fiery trials. I know a lot of folks, maybe some here, it's going through fiery trials. But listen, hallelujah, which is to, to try you. I tell you, men of God's been tried today. I tell you, the devil's hurled everything at them that he possibly can. But they're staying faithful. They're not backing up. They're pressing on, forgetting about the things that are in the past. And press on to the prize of the mark of the high calling of God. Amen. And, and knowing God's going to take us through. Thank God I'm going to win. And I hope at the end of the book it says, we're the winner. We're the winner. Are you aware? I don't think that way. 
I get up in the morning and say, God, I give you praise this day. Walk with me. Talk with me. Show me, God, what you want me to do. Lord, lead God and direct me in the paths of righteousness for your name's sake. Help me, God, to be an overcomer and stay standing in the gap and build up the hedge. I don't know if I'll get through all this or not. <clears throat> this is the second part, the message that I preached, I believe, on the 19th of, of this month on a Sunday morning. This is part two. There, there was two churches. There was two churches I'm going to bring out here in chapter th uh, 3 of Revelation, starting with the 14th verse. It says, Then unto the angel of the church of the Laodicea, write, These things saith the Amen and the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. You know what God's talking about? Lazy, it's a, a word of laziness. And it's where we're at today. It's where we're at today. You can't really get people to do anything. But I'm telling you, it's not the shit that was anybody. You know, I understand when we get older, it's hard to get around, things harder to do. God understands all that. But when I was growing up, I'm not bragging on Johnny, I'm just saying, when I was young and I worked for different ministers, they had done all I could do. I, I stayed right at it. I stayed right at it. Why? Because I, I felt good about it. Hey, I cleaned the bathrooms and felt good about it. I've done all, all these things. You know, you can't start at the head. You can't start at the top. But you know what? You can start at the bottom of Christ. And I'm telling you, it ain't long till He promotes you. Yeah, and keeps lifting you up, up, up. Why? Because you have the will of God in you to do the will of God. That's what we need. We need uh, to close out everything around us and get into the will of God. Get the mind of Christ. Lose our mind and get the mind of Christ. Think like Jesus. Act like Jesus. Talk like Jesus. We're little, we're little Jesus is inside. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God that, that the Holy Ghost said that I'll lead God and direct you into what? All truth. Yes. And truth is His Word of God today. Yes. Hallelujah. And the faithful and the true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. I know thy works. He knows our works. That thou art neither cold nor hot. And I would that thou were cold or hot. And so then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. I will be screwed out of his mouth. I'm going to stay on fire for God. Only way you stay on fire is get the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Get the baptism of the Holy Ghost because he said he'll leave God to direct us into all truth. And that's what I want. I want truth. I know truth hurts. A lot of people don't like you when you begin to tell them the truth. They don't like it. But I thank God for truth. For truth will make a change in our lives. Amen. Hey. So then, because thou art lukewarm, or neither cold or hot, I'll spew you out of my mouth. That's exactly what he would do, church. Because thou sayest, I am rich, I'm increased with goods, and have need of nothing. And knowest not that thou art wretched, and miserable, and poor, and blind, and naked. Sad to say, that's the church today. That's the church today. That's not the building. Who's the church today? It's us. We're the church. This is the building. In set apart. This gospel has been preached from a sanctified pulpit. That's what God wants. I'm telling you today, the church is miserable. Like I said, over 20% of the churches haven't even opened their doors yet. They're still doing it by YouTube, Internet, Facebook, whatever the case. Whatever the case, they need to get the churches open. Pastors, how can you stay dormant? 
I know some of them preaching, you know, by themselves there. I know that they're putting on the internet and all this. But I tell you, it's nothing. You know what? It's nothing like coming to the church house. It's nothing like sitting down and shaking your brother's hand and hugging your brother's neck. I know we're afraid of doing that now. It's all about power uh, with the, the, the other side. It's all about power. To see how far they get people to go. And I know it's been that day. But can I say this to you? That in 1967 and 68, I was in high school. I was in high school getting ready to graduate in 1968. Somebody said, how can you make it? I said, by the skin of my teeth. <laughs> by the skin of my teeth. But I graduated, praise God. And there was over a hundred thousand cases of the, of the flu. I mean, it had killed, uh, I don't know how many thousands in 1967 and 68. But they never closed the schoolhouse down. They never closed the church down. They never closed the restaurant, the service station. Any of the businesses was closed down. But now, the coronavirus... They say it's not a virus, it's uh, bacteria. I say, hey, we're going to have so much bacteria, good bacteria, bad bacteria. Oh, I tell you folks, we need to really pray. Amen. Like the brother already said, we need an old fashioned Holy Ghost heaven sent revival. We need the power of God to hit the churches once again and get the churches back on fire for God. We're too quiet. He that hath an ear, let him hear 
But the Spirit said unto the churches. I got more to go here, but I just feel God wants me to give a longer call at this time. If someone's here lost, someone's here is not for sure if they're ready. And you don't know for sure if your name's written down in the Lamb's Book of Life. No one can take that out but you. Amen. But if you don't live right, guess what? God will take it.